Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are diving in to a new Shop Miss A release. We have the new AOA Studio Dreamy Matte Bullet Lipsticks. So these have been causing quite the controversy. So today, we are talking about all of the drama. Are they matte? Are they dreamy? And are they worth it? So if you've been eyeing these and you want these questions answered before you click add to your cart this season, stick around. All right guys, so in order to understand this line, we're gonna go ahead and break down this video into three easy categories. The theme, the shade range, and application. So let's go ahead and dive into our first category, which is theme. Now, if you checked out our past review for the Lip Crayon Collection, that collection was more inspired with bridal themes, the bachelor party, you're riding off into the sunset and just enjoying your married life. Think of this collection as the pre-wedding. So most of this collection is inspired by the idea of love. When you're falling in love, the stages of love, and I feel like all of this just has amazing written all over it because who doesn't love the idea of falling in love? So this collection mentions names like lover, kiss, first date, this idea of exploring the wonders of love. This theme brings us back to that idea of dreaminess that we just walk, we're floating on air, floating on clouds, living our best life, which fits in perfectly with the dreamy lipstick collection. So moving on to our next category, which is shade range. I actually want to pull up the website to see the claims for this collection. So they say dreamy, creamy, matte lipsticks. They have seven skin tone flattering shades and they claim that this is gonna be soft and hydrating. So based on my swatches and the idea of looking at the bullet presentation, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you my personal views on lightest to dark according to my live swatches so that if you are shopping, this can be super helpful. So I wanna just zoom in and focus on the claim of skin flattering tones. The collection explores the idea of being flushed and in love. So there is a lot of pink undertones. So even though these are neutrals, they are more leaning towards that pink flushed tone. So having that in mind, don't judge them just yet. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about the lightest to the darkest ones according to my live swatches. So for my lightest category, I have number one, which is lover. I have first date and I have fling. Now these to me were on the lighter pink peachy side, a little bit of the brown orangey undertone, but again, these are going to be on the pinkier side of the nudes, the flushed idea idea and we are moving on to our middle category. My middle shades would be flirt, charm, and makeout. And these are the middle tone pinky berry tones where we are going to find our light to medium skin tones benefit from. If you love a darker lip line and you want to pop these on, these can work beautifully by themselves or with a lip liner. My last one is that statement red that they include included in this collection and this is called Kiss. I have seen a lot of reds and I feel like this one is just so beautiful. When you pop it on, it does not make your teeth yellow, which is a big concern wearing red lipstick. So I feel like overall, these tones are indeed flattering for all skin types. So moving on to our last category, which is application. Super important to understand, in order to apply a product properly, we need to understand what kind of consistency we're working with. For these particular products, there were claims of creamy, dreamy, and matte. So pigmentation wise, I found that these products did have pigment. They were very easy to work with. On the one swipe, you saw it and there was no denying it. As far as staining, because of the pigment, 
pigmentation. There was some light staining, so if you are concerned about stain, I will tell you right now, these are pink and traditionally anything pink will leave some kind of stain behind. Moving on to the drama. Are these in fact dreamy mats? So dreamy mats, this is a debatable topic, but pretty much what we are looking for if you are a matte lipstick lover, basically you don't want the Sahara Desert on your lips, right? Especially if we're working long hours. So when we're looking for that dreamy, creamy matte, we want a matte lipstick that has a little bit of oil to kind of help hydrate the lips. As far as hydration and matteness, this is not the most matte lipstick that you're gonna find in the market, especially if you lean towards more of a super dry matte as your dreamy matte. And I say air quotes because there are different expectations. So in order to kind of explore this idea, we're gonna go ahead and pop a matte meter to shiny meter on the screen. So in order to kind of help us range or categorize these lipsticks according to this chart, I feel like they're a middle ground. They're not the Sahara Desert matte dry and they're not super shiny. I feel like they are true to their claims that they are a hydrating matte lipstick. So if you like a middle ground between these two extremes, I feel like these are going to be in fact those dreamy creamy mattes that they claim to be. So I've included some bonus application tips. Working with this product and going through the reviews, there was a lot of concerns of matteness. If if you want a long lasting application, I would recommend grabbing a lip liner, shaping your lips, filling in your lips, and then going in with this product just in the center. That's going to maximize your lipstick life, your minimizing your reapplication and living your best life. If you really set your heart on having a matte lipstick and you had to make these matte, a super easy trick is simply getting some translucent powder, tapping it and you're good to go. Last but not least, I did want to give a shout out for this product doubling up as yes, you heard right folks, blush. Mm -hmm. That's in fact what I have on my cheeks today. If you are a lover of cream products and you want something that is creamy enough for your cheeks and your lips that will leave a nice stain that's easy to work with and blend, these have to be honorable mention. These are quite easy to work with. I did use them for my look today and I was quite impressed. I I actually feel very flirty, very in love. I feel like this is something that I would pop on if I was going on a quick date, if I was outside and I didn't wanna have a super matte complexion. Let's go and you're out the door, looking flawless, in love, dreamy, and just ready, ready for your date. All right, guys, so we have reached the final thoughts. So is this product worth it? Yes. I feel like for $1, you are getting amazing value, something super creamy that can double up as a blush. I feel like these are easy to work with for anybody that loves a shiny lipstick, that you want something creamy that's multitasking, or that you just wanna try out some new lipsticks because you love the flushed family. So I feel like these are going to be great, especially for this holiday season. On the website, I actually bundled and saved 5%. So they do have these amazing deals. If you really want to try all of the collection, they do have that 5% off, which I will also link in the description below. But I just feel like overall, these are a great value, cute presentation, packaging, the whole deal. So definitely check them out. Let me know if you love them on the comments below. All all right guys, so that wraps up this video. If you are interested in any particular product for me to review, make sure to leave that in the comment section below so that we can make that beautiful video happen. Also, if you have not followed me on social media, make sure to do that at MUA Carla Trevino, where I share with you makeup tips and tricks, fashion and lifestyle, because we all wanna look good on a budget. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.